What's up, YouTube? Monto Fitness here, and today I'm gonna be talking to you guys a little bit about CPT versus CSCS because I've been getting a lot of questions lately as I've been posting the strength and conditioning book uh, on my Instagram. What's the difference between CPT and CSCS? So CPT is a certified personal trainer and CSCS is certified strength and conditioning specialist. And the same thing about them is that they both focus on how to lift weights correctly and properly, uh, getting stronger, and they also focus on how to lift weights properly. So the difference between the two is a certified personal trainer. It is a very broad subject compared to the two. But CPT, you're going to be going over macronutrients such as protein, fats, and carbs. You're also going to be knowing how to train elderly individuals, people that are with diabetes, pregnant women, young, how to lift weights properly, policies and procedures when it comes to training individuals. So it is a very broad surface. So an individual with no exercise science background, I would say take about four to six months uh, studying before you take the CPT exam. And there's a lot of uh, companies that you can go through, like ISSA, NASM, NSCA. I mean, the list goes on, but it's based on how often you're studying. So with CSCS, with no exercise science, background at all it would take about two years um but with exercise science background about six months so i've actually just got my exercise science degree from university of texas at arlington and with exercise science people often ask what type of jobs or careers that people normally go down with that so i went down the health fitness and wellness route and people that normally take that route go strength and conditioning or trying to get their own gym. You also have an exercise science PT. Uh, so a lot of people go down physical therapy route. Um, so there's a lot of different fields, uh, rehabilitation, motor rehabilitation. Um, so there's a lot of different fields. But with the CSCS, that's considered the gold standard um when it comes to exams like every trainer and every coach knows how high of a difference it is getting your cscs versus your cpt because with the cscs you're studying way more subjects and you have to cover a more deeper understanding of the body um with the cscs you're going to have to be studying anatomy and physiology, biomechanics, sports nutrition, sports psychology. Um, and then you're also gonna have to be studying energy systems. And there's just a lot of things. Also testing how to know the difference between their strengths and their weaknesses and what they can maximize in, in their performance. And there's a lot that goes into it, which which I was saying the other day. If CSCS is the gold standard, the I would I would be curious too if the passing rate on the first attempt was 85, 90%. So the passing rate on the first attempt of the CSCS is less than 60%. Because there's so many different aspects and different types of questions that you can get hit with. Because you also have to know every single sport in every single position as well. Because the questions in the CSCS um, can be based on a player's positions. And if you don't know that position, then you're more likely going to miss the question. So I went to a prep exam um, back in April of 2023. 
And I was in there with individuals who've taken the exam, the CSCS exam, about two to three times, and they failed. So they kept trying to figure out what, where they was going wrong at. And they read the book front to back, and then or back to front. And the book is, I believe, about 700 pages. So... That is a lot of information. It's not just knowing the information, but applying it as well. So I was blessed to have this summer work with uh, strength and conditioning. And I got to train the high school athletes. And that was just a great experience seeing how the program was broken down and how that was different than just being a regular certified personal trainer. So I do plan on taking the CSCS, hopefully sometime this summer. I definitely want to read the book front to back and then back to front. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit of the difference between CPT and CSCS. Sorry I went off the board, but that's like how I be talking. Um, I can just go into it so we can just go deeper and deeper and deeper. But yes, if you plan on taking the CPT, I say study for about four to six months. And if you're trying to take the CSCS, I would recommend, and this is, when I say I recommend because I haven't taken the exam yet, I'm talking about based off the conversations that I've been having with other strength and conditioning coaches, my professors, and based on other individuals that have their CSCS have a thorough background of exercise physiology, exercise science, anatomy, physiology, nutrition, sports psychology, have a deep understanding of that, and then read the book front to back and then back to front. <laughs> because you can't just read the book, you also have to watch others, other uh, videos, and actually apply what you're learning to the exam because there's no calculator. So you have to know how many grams go into carbs, fats, proteins. You have to know every single thing and be able to, to do calculations. So if you are taking the CSCS, please drop in the comments when you're taking it because I'm always intrigued whenever I hear people's stories about the exam so far. So, yeah, and drop in the comments down below any other types of videos that you want me to start talking about because I feel like it's, it's time. <laughs> All right, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it.